Season 1 of X Define is here, and with it, we get three new guns the Lovac C Assault Rifle, which is designed to be more mobile and rapid fire than the M4A1 at the cost of slightly slower ADS speeds, the L115 Sniper Rifle, the mid ground between the snappy and less lethal M44, and the slower and more powerful TAC 50 and the sword of shotgun as a secondary designed to give us an option for a true close quarters emergency option as a secondary we get three new maps clubhouse based off the rainbow six siege map of the same name this joined the map pool on day one of season one rockefeller from the division universe will also be joining us this season and daytona from the world of the club will also be joining in the season but the big news is the new faction gsk also joining us from the rainbow six universe with a focus on crowd control and securing territories their abilities of shockwire active defense system they also have a passive which negates headshot damage and their ultimate ability which is a riot shield with a built-in flash mechanism as well as all this we have the new capture the flag game mode a new battle pass new mastery skins and ranked play is finally here so what do we think of season one now that it's been out for a few weeks my main issue with x to find were the netcode issues and the snipers hearing the tac 50 described as slow it was laughable and makes me slightly concerned about the power of future snipers. The net code for bullet registration has 100% improved, but unfortunately this has been overshadowed by consistent game disconnects for no apparent reason. I have noticed this most often when playing escort and zone control, making me think something about these game modes with longer match times is part of the issue. And this needs to be fixed urgently as two modes I enjoy playing being borderline unplayable really hurts my enjoyment of the game overall and limits how often I want to play. The new guns. I've used the assault rifle a decent amount and it's definitely competitive. And once I spend some time focusing in on my build for it, I can see myself using it as an option on smaller, more traditionally SMG heavy maps. But on bigger maps, like the ones for escort and zone control, I still find the ACR and AK-47 are difficult to dethrone. I'm yet to use the new sniper or secondary, and I haven't really seen many of them about whatsoever. So only time will be able to tell, but based on my lack of exposure to them, I can only assume that they aren't dangerously overpowered. The new maps are all quite exciting. Clubhouse is a small but busy mosh pit that allows for constant engagements. But this is actually done to the extreme. In an effort to make it feel like a game of Rainbow Six Siege has just finished, most walls are blown open, meaning the map often feels very open and chaotic in less of an enjoyable way and more in a we didn't know when to stop blowing the walls up way. Which is a real shame, because I think with a few tweaks to this, the map would be one of my favourites. As yet, we've not seen Rockefeller or Daytona, but I'm excited for these maps to be released for me to try out, because overall, I do think the X-Time map teams are doing a really good job. The new faction GSK also joined x Defiant from the Rainbow Six universe. The German Border Protection Command are heavy hitters. Their first active ability is Shockwire, which is a spool of barbed wire that's electrified. Perfect for shutting down an entryway and giving yourself the upper hand in a gunfight. The second active ability is the Active Defense System, or ADS. This is a device that shoots projectiles like grenades out of the surrounding area before they can explode making it crucial for countering the volley of grenades you will experience in a normal game of Occupy. Their passive trait is called Hard Hat and allows you to negate headshot bonus damage, giving you the upper hand in a gunfight if you can hit even one headshot on your opponent. Finally, there is the Flash Shield, their ultimate ability. It's a riot shield that allows you to flashbang enemies and also return fire making you a one-man army if used in the right way. Having now unlocked the GSK, it's nice to have access to the ADS to counter grenades, and the reduced headshot damage is phenomenal and incredibly noticeable. Playing against the GSK I don't find too frustrating, 
The largest frustration is obviously the headshot negation, making it feel like so many bullets are wasted is infuriating at times, but I don't find their abilities other than that to be overpowered in any way. So hopefully this isn't the beginning of a power slide, but there is definitely a risk of that. The new game mode is an arena classic with CTF or capture the flag. But I'm not sure it's well suited to many of the maps in this game. So hopefully some of the future maps suit the mode better. The new battle pass is a huge upgrade over the previous with many more desirable skins. However, as I was concerned about in my initial review, some guns are getting another epic or legendary skin or other guns are yet to receive any at all, which could definitely negatively affect desire to pay for this battle pass for a lot of people. On the plus side, the level cap of guns has been raised from 200 to 400 and three new mastery camos have been released. And I must say, I'm a big fan of them for sure. Titanium Violet is unlocked at level 300. Titanium Azure is unlocked at level 350. And Titanium Prisma is unlocked at 400, with Azure and Prisma both being animated skins as well. Ranked is here and has launched in an overall poor state. Servers crashing, causing it to be unstable. If you win but are dead at the end of the game, you might not receive any points for the win. And no limits to character selection, meaning that a very strict meta has already taken place. The core is there, they simply need to fix these issues for it to truly be able to shine. Overall, Season 1 is okay. A company the size of Ubisoft needs to sort out these server-related issues if they want to be a truly huge game. So with that in mind, Season 1 of X to Fine gets a rating of 67 out of 100. They really should do better. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell for post notifications, and I'll see you in a bit. Take care.